Good afternoon and welcome to Investor Schooling Live, coming to you from Investor Schooling Headquarters. I'm Phil Falcone here with Larry Steinhaus. We are the founders of Investor Schooling. Get ready to learn real estate and stock option investing. Call us with your questions now. 855-939-1137. That's 855-939-1137. That's right. We are a live program, and we will take calls from you anytime during the show. Don't worry about what we're talking about. Just call up and ask your questions, just like we run our class. People can ask questions anytime they need. Investor Schooling is located in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, serving the Philadelphia area in a real brick-and-mortar building. That's correct. We are local guys accessible to our students a minimum of two nights per week. Learn this business from people who live it every day. Larry, what's happening? Hey, Phil. I am. I wanted to talk to you about a deal that you're doing. Now, you brought it up the other night in class, and I was so impressed by this deal that I like. I got to go right into it. I, I, I got to know the actual details of this deal. You said on Thursday night that you would literally sign paperwork on a deal that was a subject to deal that took you what a couple of, couple of four months or so to actually close it, to, to, to get it under contract. A couple, one of them was a couple of months, yeah. Yeah, and, and I tell you what, I, I think that that deal was so impressive. I actually, I'm actually jealous of that deal. How's that? So, uh, could you do me a favor? Can you tell me a little bit more about that deal so our audience can hear it? Sure, but uh, you want me to tell you right now? That sounds like a nice topic for one of our uh, one of our segments. Oh, are you are you saying that it was a topic that was supposed to be in a segment today? No, actually, uh, I'm flying by the seat of my pants today. Oh, that's so. kind of what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, anyway, I'd be happy to talk about it. Yeah, let's let, I got, let's talk about it because I actually think I just thought it was I was so impressed by it that I actually thought you should tell the audience about it. Okay. Well, uh, the, let's talk a little bit about the topics that I did have planned to talk about. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to go off the topic to go on to other topics? Well, uh, there could be a couple reasons why I might want to be careful about talking about that project. Oh, I got you. Okay, okay. Considering I that uh, I, did do a, I did do a presentation to our school about a project, about a house deal that I just did. And I love to tell my students about deals that I'm working on every day. Uh, whenever I'm here, I'm always talking about whatever it is that I'm doing right now. But um, I don't know if the sellers would like to hear about it on that's the radio. That's a good point. That's and they happen point. to be listeners of this wonderful station. Oh, that's cool. So, okay. uh, so, so John Smith wasn't isn't is, is the uh, is the seller, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that will work, but he'll <laughs> understand it. So, some of the topics that I did have planned to talk about today was what is the best real estate investing strategy for newbies. Can I begin real estate investing with no money? You think people can do that, Larry? I'm going to say, yeah, probably sort of. Yeah, I, I'm going to say definitely. Yeah, I do it all the possible. time. I know what you mean. <laughs> and uh, what we always talk about at the end of our show is the stock option picks of the week. If you're looking for a way to actually make money from listening to this show, stock option picks of the week or stock picks of the week are something that you definitely want to learn about. We've also had a couple of questions that came in. One of them is, can realtors do things like wholesaling? It's funny. That came up today. We, we, uh, by the way, I don't even know if you know this, but we have, an, we have, a, we have a, a brokerage called the Investor Brokerage, and we had a new agent sign up today, and he asked me all these questions about, about wholesaling and whether he can do wholesaling as a realtor. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, but I want you to let you know that it was kind of interesting. But I, I got to go back for a minute. I got a bone to pick with somebody in the school. And I'm very upset about something, and, and maybe you can help me out here, Phil. But, you know, we have this thing. We do the Stock Options Sultan on Thursday nights. And if you've never seen the Stock Options Sultan, it is absolutely a lot of fun. In fact, we, you know, we even have, of course, we even have a, a theme song for the Stock Options Sultan, too. And it's just a blast. The Stock Options Sultan comes in and does his thing and talks about stock options. But the Stock Options Sultan also dresses in a certain way and always dresses in his red jacket with the gold trim on it. And I'm very upset because my red jacket with gold trim is missing. I'm sorry, the Rock Stock Options Sultan's red jacket with gold trim is missing, and I want to know who took it. Did you take it, Phil? You've already asked me this. I told you I didn't take it. I know, because when I find that person, this is what's going to happen. 
to First of all, let me make a case since you're asking me on the air if I'm the one that took your jacket. I'm the one that that suggested that you become the stock option. That's so right. You did. I am the one who encouraged you to continue with it and to do a lot of the things that you were actually doing, I believe, was obviously partly your idea and partly mine. So why would I want to stop you from doing something I encouraged you to do? Well, I thought you were going to you know, maybe play a trick on me and try to figure out how I was going to solve the problem. I had to wear a black jacket with gold trim. Isn't that horrible that I had to wear a black jacket instead of a red jacket? I don't know. I'm not really a uh, trickster. <laughs> so if you're listening and you came to the school and you took my jacket, man, you better bring it back. Maybe one of your... Uh one of your employees who works here with you every day, maybe they would be the ones that you might want to look at. I know. I'm going to have to check them out and see if they took it. So I just had a rant about that because I thought it was something that was important enough for us to discuss on the air, of course. Okay. Anything else you feel like talking about? No, that's pretty much it. All well, right. Th that, nothing that has, pertains to our, <laughs> our radio show anyway. <laughs> All right. So – um why don't we spend some time and we'll talk about some of the deals that I did over the weekend. Over the weekend? You got more deals already? Man, I tell you, I'm impressed. Well, uh, it is Sunday. You haven't talked to me in a couple of days. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You wouldn't expect me to be laying around sleeping over the weekend, would you? I'm out making money, or trying to at least. Well, you better be out making some money. Right. Right. So I've got some uh, interesting deals on the table. I, You know, subject two is a strategy that... Um, is what we call creative financing. It's one of the strategies that falls into the box of what I call creative financing, and I believe that's what Larry refers to it as well. And a lot of times you will meet people and you'll talk to them about potentially using this strategy, and you, you might hear no more often than you hear yes, but over the weekend I managed to do two of them in a row, which is, which is kind of rare. It doesn't happen always like that, but wonderful – uh, wonderful thing to happen when it does happen. It usually means a very big win for a real estate investor. Yeah, and it's a big win, and? You get to buy a house that comes with financing. I think it's awesome, actually. It's my, And you guys know it's my favorite way to buy houses, subject to. And I love it. Matter of fact, I got one that I'm closing in three weeks. Same thing, subject to. And I love the idea that we get to take over the mortgage payments. The mortgage stays out of our name, and we get to own the property and control the property in every single way and do everything we with the property, and we don't need to go for a mortgage. You know, I find it funny that all those people out there, they're all talking about getting mortgages, their credit score. Oh, my credit score is only 520. What am I going to do? How am I going to get a house? Well, you can take over people's mortgages and get a house. It's very simple. You know, there is no reason to have – I mean – it's great to have good credit, don't get me wrong. But if you don't have good credit, we can teach you how to buy houses without any money. By the way, if you want to call in, call in right now at 855-939-1137, and you can talk about this strategy or any other strategy of no money down, 855-939-1137, and we will talk to you about how to buy houses with no money, what we do at the school, and how we can help you make more money, 855-939-1137. So, so uh, I got a question for you. Sure. So when you said you wanted me to talk about the deal that I was just teaching on Thursday night, yeah. there were two deals in that presentation. Was it the first deal from Philly, or was it the other deal you wanted to hear about? Well, it was the deal that uh, that was the twin. Okay. That you were buying for a family member. Right. That was the one. Okay. Can you talk about that one? Yeah, I suppose I can talk about both of them in theory. Okay. Right? So uh, one of the deals was I met this – a family who lives in a twin in Northeast Philadelphia in 19115. And they're good people and very likable people and from the neighborhood that I grew up in because I grew up about a mile away from this house. And um, basically my, uh, my family house, the one that I grew up in, was purchased in 1969. And now we are 51 years into that house and my father and my brother still live in that house. But it looks like the, uh, that that particular investment, uh, which is a primary residence, not an investment, but it's an investment per se. Everything, ev everything that you put your money into that's, that's a piece of real estate is an investment in my mind, even the ones you live in. And um, 
of after 51 years, it looks like, you know, we may be coming to the end of the road with this particular house. And not that there's anything wrong with the house. The house is great, but the circumstances of the individuals living in the house it may come to an end of the end of the road pretty soon, maybe in the next year or so, maybe sooner. We'll see. So when I saw this house, I immediately thought of my older brother who uh, has been a caretaker with my father, and he's going to need a house of his own. And this house is perfect for him. It has a big, giant yard, and my brother loves to do gardening. And it also comes with uh, about 50% of the cost of the house is covered by an existing loan that's already on the house. And that's basically what a subject to is, for those of you who don't understand it, is in a normal real estate transaction, the buyer, in this case me, comes to the table at settlement and pays off the underlying loan in most cases. But if you understand subject to and how it works, you can ask the sellers about it and make a deal with the sellers that is – uh, positive for both sides of the transaction, the buyer and the seller, and ultimately you can buy a house and not pay off the underlying loan. And Wait, it, how can you do that? Well, I'm not a genius, Larry. It's a <laughs> proven, legal, allowed strategy. You just have to be smart enough to recognize the opportunity and present it in a professional manner to the seller's and possibly sweeten the pot if you have to, to make it worth the while of the seller to allow you to do that. Well, I understand. And I, I was being I was being facetious, of course, because I know how to do it. But it's often it's often interesting when you talk to title companies, they won't know how to do it, they won't do it. You talk to lawyers, they don't understand it. They don't understand that you can actually take over somebody's mortgage payment and own the house. And it's very odd that we have we run into that quite often. But there are people who are listening out there going, wait, how can you take over somebody else's mortgage payment? And the reality is you absolutely can. Yes, the loan stays in their name. The mortgage stays with the house. So you have to pay the payment or you'll lose the house. So you don't want to do that. And, of course, you want to make the payment, too, because you can affect someone else's credit. So these are all things that you must know with subject to. And you also need to make sure that the paperwork is done properly. You know, don't, don't just say, hey, look, I heard Larry and Phil on the radio, and they told me I can take over properties. Well, here's the reality. You can, but if you don't do it right, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, you're going to need – you're going if, if anyone wants – anyone out there is listening to the show and is considering asking a seller for this, it's fine that you could possibly bring it up. But without understanding it and being able to explain it properly, you're probably never going to get one done. And, and furthermore, even if you did get a seller to agree to let you do it, you would need a substantial amount of paperwork that you probably do not have. Yeah, exactly. And of course, in investor schooling, we have that paperwork. And our students get that paperwork, and I think that's important to know. You know, we have students doing subject two deals all the time. But subject two is just like one way to do to do financing. And here's the cool part. So you said you had said something interesting. You had said that the um, you had to finance the other half, right? So so you're taking over a right. half the loan, well, half the, the property in the loan, right? Okay. So in the, in this particular property. The cost of the house is the, the the comps. If it was all fixed up, would be worth about two fifty, probably tops. Two fifty okay. tops. Okay. It's a three bedroom, one bath, one and a half bath house with a huge backyard, and it's a twin. Okay, and it's a rancher, so it's all one floor, and um, that's actually another thing that my brother liked about it is no steps. Okay, see, so you know, he's got some knee issues and. Steps are difficult as you get older, and this would be the kind of house. He's older than you, right? He's older than me, and he yeah, would, he would uh, most yeah. likely live in this house for the rest of his sure, life. Sure, and we're and I, I, the only reason I ask that is because I can sympathize with that. I'm getting the knee problems, and so are you. So yeah, me too. Me we're, too. We're getting uh, old. Yeah, I've been beating up my knees playing sports for years. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we, we we just are talking about the health programs yeah. that that are on this station instead of uh, instead of the real, yeah. real estate, right? Well, one of the things I love about Florida, and I I own property in Florida, and I already have my house that I intend to live in in Sarasota. One of the things I love about Florida is you can hardly even find a house that has two stories. And if you do find a house that has two stories, whoever put that second story on there probably regrets it because That's nobody funny. wants to buy a house in Florida that has two stories. That's funny. Mainly for one reason, because it gets so hot in the summertime, it is virtually impossible to cool the second floor. 
Yeah, I bet. It's I just, bet. I mean, it's 110 degrees outside, and you can't cool it. You just can't do it. <laughs> Your electric bill will be massive. You'll have a house. You'll have a second floor to a house that you will probably only use at best mm, eight months a year. So I derailed you for a second. So you said that you, you know, so you're buying the house and you, half of it you're taking over the mortgage. Now the other half, and let's just use a number. I don't know if you if you want to go into numbers, but yeah. let's just use a random number. I'm basically paying half cash and, and half, half right. financing. Right. So if we use just okay. a random number, for example, of I don't know, of a hundred thousand, for example, okay. you've got fifty thousand that you're taking over the mortgage. Where do you get the other fifty thousand from if you don't have it in the bank? Well, I just happen to have it in the bank. Oh, well, good for you. When you're a professional real estate investor, having uh, big, what we call chunky money, having chunky money coming into your bank account is part of your life. If you if you want to get a chunky money check, what's a chunky money check? I don't know. Anything above, say, uh, 10000 15000 a nice $35,000 check always brings a smile to my face, and the bigger, the better. Yeah, I like those, too. Uh, so you're going to take it out of your bank. So this is interesting. So I'm doing a subject two deal that I'm closing in three weeks, and I actually decided not to take the money out of the bank. I actually decided that there was so much equity in this property that I went to a private lender and asked for a second mortgage on the property, and there's still thirty to forty thousand dollars equity in the property that will make the private lender happy. So not only do I finance the property 100 because you know me i just like to go to closings it's a game to me i like to go to closings and either get money back which by the way i'm gonna get about ten thousand back on this one or go there with no money so i'll get about ten thousand dollars back which by the way i'm going to be using to renovate the property i will then rent the property my rent will be about 1300 bucks my total my total payment on the property will be about 800 bucks so i get 400 dollars a month for free Basically, I put nothing out of my pocket. I get $400 a month for free, and that's how I arrange that one. That's why I asked you if you were, you know, because typ typically I know that you typically would go for secondary financing too. You typically wouldn't take it out of the bank. I just found it funny that you answered that way. Well, uh, part of the reason is is because uh, a man named uh, Donald, actually Donald Trump, uh, made SBA loans, Small Business <laughs> Administration loans, available to uh, entrepreneurs like myself. I own several small businesses and I have good credit and I am a very bankable individual and the United States government has decided to lend me money to uh, help me uh, you know help me to boost the economy and I'm doing my part as an American to support this great country and take that money and spend it. And that's what I'm supposed to do with it. This money is not a gift. It's not a grant. It's a loan. That's correct. Which I qualify for. And I thought to myself, and I spoke to my wife, and I said, hey, what do you think is the safest possible thing that I could do with this money? And I thought, well, uh, you know, her and I talked about it, and we came up with the c conclusion that we buy so much real estate, and we're always borrowing other people's money to buy those pieces of real estate, why don't we lend the money to ourselves? I'm pretty certain that I would pay myself back. Yeah, I'm pretty certain you will too. That's pretty funny. I, I feel 100% I feel <laughs> confident that whatever money comes in <laughs> from these ventures, I will be paying myself back. So you can earn an interest rate on your money, charge yourself an interest rate, and, and have your account grow, have the money that the government gave me grow so I can continue to invest in more real estate and possibly do a flip, sell the flip, get the money back when you sell the flip, and roll the money, watch your account go up, and continue to do this. Yeah, we did a presentation, I guess it was about a month ago, maybe a little bit more than that, on how to get an SBA loan. We've gotten for our students, we've gotten over $2 million of SBA loans for our students. And it's fascinating how, how easy it was to get and how people just didn't know about it. They didn't know what they had to do and how they had to apply for it. But, I mean, I've got students, they come in and go, hey, I just got my loan, it was 100000 Hey, I just got my loan, it was 50000 Hey, I just got my loan, it was 150000 And it's pretty awesome to, to know how to do that. And if you if you want to reach out, uh, you know, if you want to reach out to us, if you want to come on a Thursday night. By the way, just so you know, we, we have a class every Thursday night, and you can come to a class every Thursday night by going to investorschooling.com. And if you come this Thursday night, just pull me aside. I'll tell you how to get, get an SBA loan and see if you qualify for it. And it's very easy. It's a three-page application online. It takes two seconds. You do it. You finish. You get your SBA loan. But if you want to come this weekend, go to – I'm sorry, this Thursday, come to investorschooling.com, and you can either attend via Zoom or you can attend uh, in person. Are we having in-person classes, for, for Phil? Yes, we are. We are open. Can you imagine 
that somebody would come to our school, they would meet us, they would join our school for a small uh, tuition, and then they would go and get a $150,000 loan from the government. Yeah, that was, uh, that just was amazing. Be, just, just because just they part. knew us. How yeah, about exactly. that? Huh. And so what are you guys doing Thursday night? Can, any, can anybody out there use maybe 150, 150,000? Any of that get you a little bit excited? And if nothing else, we'll teach you how to make that kind of money with real estate and stock options as well. Yeah, and you don't really need the government, but if you could get your butt to this meeting on Thursday night, you just might learn a few things. And uh, if you want to call in right now, 855-939-1137 is our phone number, 855-939-1137. And by the way, if you're listening to one of our affiliate stations and we're not live at the moment and you call that number, 855-939-1137, we will answer the phone and we'll answer your question. So feel free to call that whether you're listening to a live show or whether you're listening to a repeat of the show or an affiliate of the show. Right now we are on between, between uh, 3 and 4. So we're live on Sunday between 3 and 4. So if you're listening live between on Sunday between 3 and 4, call us right now, 855-939-1137. If you're listening in your car, we'd love to hear you. By the way, we had a guy come in last week. That was awesome. He called us two weeks ago, and he brought us sandwiches, remember? How could I forget? They were really good sandwiches. How I, do brought, you I brought those sandwiches home, you know, the extra ones. Yeah. I was allowed to take home five or six of them. And the next day, I went to look for them, and my wife had eaten them all. Yeah, they were really good. I, I ate a, I ate a, quite a few of them. They were sliced up, you know, little sandwiches. I ate quite a few of them on Thursday night, and I went home and I couldn't sleep all night because I ate all that bread. <laughs> that was that was awful. <laughs> all right, what do you think, Phil? Should we go to a commercial and yeah, come back? Yeah. Why don't we take a uh, short two minute break, and when we come back, we're going to be taking some calls at eight five five nine three nine eleven thirty seven. That's eight five five nine three nine eleven thirty seven. We'll be back in two minutes. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone from Investorschooling.com. I'm inviting you to a complimentary class in Langhorn this Thursday night at 7 p.m. I will teach you how to buy ugly houses and make them beautiful. As a bonus, we will also teach you stock option investing. So get your butt to this meeting, 7 p.m. this Thursday night, Langhorn, 215-876-3002, investorschooling.com. Hey, everybody, it's Larry Sinus from investorschooling.com. You heard my partner, Phil Falcone, tell you why you should be there this Thursday night to learn about real estate investing and learn about stock options trading. We're telling you right now, you will make more money than you've ever made in your entire life if you learn these two skills. Be there this Thursday night at 7 o'clock in our Langhorn headquarters. Go to Investorschooling.com. Pull over right now. Take out your phone and go to Investorschooling.com. RSVP right now. Investorschooling.com. See you Thursday. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scanner. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month. But it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. I love it when they play this cool music. This, it just, it's just so awesome. Right. Hey, it's Larry Steinhaus, and I'm here with Phil Falcone, and we are Investor Schooling Live. And we are live on the air right now talking to you guys. And if you want to call in with any questions about real estate, stock options, or anything else, 855 855- 939-1137 is our phone number. You can call in live right now, 855-939-1137. So before we went on a commercial break, um, you, Phil, you were talking about one subject you did, but then there was another one that was an interesting one that you did, a f- I guess a week ago, whatever it was, no, that I, uh, that I wanted to remind you of because I thought it was awesome to talk about that one. Yeah, I did. I wrapped one up on Saturday night, and then I wrapped another All right, one. All right, we got to get Anthony to kill the music. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. I, I like that music. It, it yeah, makes, I like it too. But it makes but me feel like I'm in a motorcycle <laughs> gang driving down the highway. <laughs> but I wasn't sure if anybody could hear us. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> hey, by the way, we got a call. You want to take the caller first? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, we got Brian on the line. Hey, Brian, why don't you why don't you uh, talk to us a little bit about what you want to talk to us about? 
Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, the SBA loans. Uh, well, first off, the class. Where's these cl- live classes at? So we are in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. Our office is in, in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, 10, uh, 108 Corporate Drive East in Langhorne. And uh, you can go to investorschooling.com, and you can RSVP right there. You can take a live class, or you can go via Zoom, whatever it is that you want to do. Hey, Brian, I just oh, want okay. to say that we're probably... Com. Right. Correct. Hey, Brian, I yeah, just wanted okay. to say will... that right now we're probably talking to about 15,000 people. And you, my friend, are Correct. the only truly lis- good listener and smart individual to call up. Who wouldn't want to get $150,000? There should be 50 people on the line right now. <laughs> Well, right, right. And the thing is, to qualify, I mean, you know, I could either do it in my name or my wife's name, uh, you know. Or an EIN number or a Social Security number. Yeah, of course. Did you get one, Brian? What, an SBA loan? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm an engineer, but, I mean, we were thinking about doing real estate investing, you know, for a while now. And investorschooling.com, I may have seen your uh, website. I'm not sure, but... uh, Either way, I mean, yeah, if you're right there in Langhorn, I, I I would like to go to the live. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could do it by way of Zoom, but <laughs> I'd rather go to the live class. You know what I mean? Yeah, please do. We'd love to have you. Hey, look at that. We got another caller. Yeah, yeah, and she was cute all was involved. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah, so, right, so that'd right, be awesome. Right. Are we going to see you this Thursday? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, Thursday, what time? So 7 o'clock is our class. You want to come about quarter quarter to 7 so you could be there a little early just to yeah. say hello to Phil and I. And also, if you want to, by the way, yeah. anybody else who wants to come on a Thursday, if you want to, we'll give you a tour of our studio. We're actually in a live studio that we have down in our basement of our of our uh, headquarters. And what happened was when COVID happened, the studio in Philadelphia got shut down. So we built a radio studio down here. So what's really cool about that is you can oh, come wow. down and you can actually see yeah. our studio. Sure. And we have some amazing technology. Oh, so you're not with even you broadcasting. Okay. Wow. So you're broadcasting now from uh, from your studio. That's right. We are. So so if, we, if you come right now, oh, we wow. won't answer the door because we're busy talking to you. <laughs> no, I know. Right, I know. So, uh, uh, but Thursday look, night, yes, uh, I will definitely check it out. Uh, i got to get sure rolling now. Make sure you get now. your butt to this to meeting do, but, yes, on Thursday I'm, I'm 100% night. interested. All right, yeah. cool, Brian. We'll, I mean, the we'll, qualifications, we'll, we'll, you know, other than a decent credit score, I, I mean, I don't know. You know, i got a job. She's got a job. Cool. Uh, you know, I mean, here's, here's what SBA the qualifications loans, I mean. are. You ready? You want to hear the qualifications yeah, to come here Thursday night? Yeah. You have to have a beating yeah. heart and you have to be able to fog a mirror. And you also there need you to have go. transportation <laughs> to get here, too. Yeah, it sounds like the mortgages well, in 2006, right? Yeah, really. Fog a mirror. All right, Very good, so, Brian. Thanks so yeah. much. We're looking forward to talking to you All on right, Thursday. Have a good one. Thank you. To right. Take it easy. And then we also have John from Philadelphia. John, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, guys? What's hey, happening? Hey, so nothing. You... I have a question. So I got this little bit of a curveball situation. So I grew up, uh, my family wise, we never really did credit. Like everything was cash. So I'm 36 and I literally have no credit. I think debt is like $1,200. So but you have no I credit whatsoever? No, I never needed it. And I bought everything cash. I literally all my life have to handle everything cash. So I'm going to tell you something interesting, John. But believe it or not, the best thing you could do is have credit. I know this is contrary to anything that everyone ever says. Now, I'm not saying go get credit and buy a big screen TV, go get credit and buy a couch. You, but buy, but having, having credit or being able to buy things and leveraging your money requires getting loans. Now, I realize that you don't have any – and by the way, if you come to Investor Schooling, we're going to teach you how to build your credit. That's another thing that we do. We te- by the way, we teach people how to get credit cards and credit. We've had people who come in with you know $500 worth of credit available on credit cards, and within a year they have $100,000 worth of credit. Not everybody, but some of them have, have $100,000 worth of credit. We teach people how to do that too, so that's something you want to do. But uh, what, what is it, so what is it that you want to do with, you, with, uh, with your credit? So, well, mostly I got approved for an SBA, SBA loan for fifteen thousand. I approved approval, I guess. And then once, uh, once I guess the uh, SBA loan officer went through my uh, credit, my personal credit, I got denied. So that's okay, I didn't but you got you already got one, my right? Personal credit. You got one well, loan, I got approved, right? But then it got no, no, no. The one loan that I got was uh, I was pre qualified for fifteen thousand, then I got denied. Okay, I got you. And then they and then they declined it after that. 
Yes. So uh, it was everything with COVID. It took a while for the application process to go through, so forth, so on. So then once they actually got my like credit report, obviously they said no credit. So hence, then they, de- they denied my SBA loan. All right. So you know what? What are you doing Thursday night? Uh, I mean, if I, I definitely I have your website. Uh, I, your website. <laughs> I definitely can uh, stop by the, the, the Yeah, stop by. And- so. Grab me after class, and we'll talk some more because I, I, there may be some uh, little things we can do to make that happen. Or if nothing else, we, we, there's some things we can do to, to establish credit for you so the next time you, it's available for you. Hey, Larry, before we uh, go to our next caller, tell John how much the school cost on Thursday night. So, so John, uh, do you have at least two cents in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, I, I do have one last question. I do apologize if I could ask. Oh, no, sure. Go ahead. So I do have a business partner that about like so the the all the EIN number and everything is underneath my name and underneath my social security number. I do have a partner, but like in paperwork, if he if I did the SBA loan again, but with him tied to it, would that like, cause any like issues or? No, you can apply for it again anyway because that's what I'm going to tell you to do. But but let's we'll, we'll strategize when we talk. We'll talk after class. We'll strategize on how you can get it. But yes, you you could actually okay. so you could have multiple businesses and multiple EIN numbers and you know assuming you, you were in business last year and multiple and you could even use a yes. social security number. Some of our students have gotten five different loans because they had five different businesses, and that's kind of where I'm going to go with you on Thursday. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the okay. other businesses you have and how we can make it work. And by okay, the way, well, you don't I even need the two cents on Thursday; it's free. Either. Yeah, so we'll see that. That's awesome. Oh, well, I appreciate. Right. It. So you yeah, got it, definitely. Man. I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Thanks, so it looks like we have another call. Is it? It's Paul Ski. Is that right? Paul Ski. Paul Ski. Is that a real name? Hey, that's is Paul a, Ski a real uh, name? Pretty good name. <laughs> so, so is that? So, what kind of name is that? I got to know. What well, slightly Polish? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that, the short, that, that, that that's actually the short, makes sense. That's the short version. Yeah, <laughs> it's Swarzynski. Cool. Yeah. I have a question. If you have a, if you own some property and you have like an eight, like one point three acres, and you have property there, does it make sense to zone it like and <laughs> zone it for like two houses, and then do a fresh build and new new build and then rent that house out? Would that be financially like good idea or no? Just to fix it up the best you can and just sell it to what that way. There are so many questions I have to ask you before I can answer that question that it would probably take a half an hour to ask them all. But you have to start with okay. things that are important, like can you subdivide it? Is it a residential or is it a commercial lot? Where is it? What is it? How, how many houses per, no. per acre are you allowed <clears throat> in that area? There, that, that's so what, yeah, that's what I was pieces. questioning on. Yeah. That's what I was I, uh, wondering. I'll share with you my thoughts on the topic. Okay, so typically I don't like to buy land in itself. Because the land comes with a tax bill. The land has to have grass that needs to be cut. It may not have grass. It could be a parking lot. But either way, it requires maintenance. It requires expense one way or another. So typically, I don't buy the land. However, what Larry is saying is if you really want to know if it makes sense, you have to go down to the township and figure that out. And you probably should come to investor schooling where you can get some good advice from people who have actually done that before. Do we give good advice, Phil? Okay. Almost all the time. <laughs> when, when do we give bad advice? Uh, it depends. <laughs> like, you know, when nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> well, we have 95. Okay, you know, we so have 95. So you got to, like, figure out what your taxes would be compared yeah, sure. to the long there's so, term. There's, or there's long, so many uh, pieces. Rebuild. Yeah, there's so many pieces to that. You know, if, if you want to come on Thursday night and grab me after class, um, you know, first we'll first we'll have to talk to John first, but then we can talk to you afterwards, and I'd be more than happy to talk to you a little bit more about that property. But I was saying, you know, that we have we have ninety five five star Google reviews on on uh, Google. That's and, pretty amazing. And you know, I got to tell you something. I, it it blows my mind. I'm so happy. And anytime anybody leaves a Google review, I respond to it, and we or say we respond to it. We make sure that that people are thanked. But we really appreciate it that you guys. Appreciate us so much. Anyway, Polsky, hopefully we'll see you on Thursday night. So where were we, Phil? We were talking about the one. You got it, man. We were talking about the one deal you had that the guy, when you called him. Yeah, I could talk about that deal, but I feel like saying, hey, come to Investor Schooling and get to learn how to apply for an SBA loan. (laughs) 
Because we true. started <laughs> talking about SBA loans and three callers called us. I know, really. Okay, obviously, there may be some people out there on Mother Earth who can hear my voice right now. How would you like to get some very low interest rate money from the government? This is not a gift. This is not a grant. This is a loan that you will have to pay back according to very similar guidelines to a 30-year mortgage. However, the interest rate is very attractive, and this money will be given to you in a very short period of time, depending on your circumstances. If you would like to learn how to get your hands on some of this money that could help you in many ways in life, especially in real estate acquisition or stock option investing, or you name it, whatever you need in life, you could do with this money. If you'd like to learn about that, go to Investorschooling.com right now. Sign up for a class that happens to be free on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And the last thing you have to do is get your butt to this meeting. Oh, it's so nasty when you say the word butt. Yeah, there have been people who have called up the school and said, who is this guy, Phil, who keeps saying, get your butt to this meeting? But <laughs> I like to use aggressive language. You do. I, I've noticed that, especially yeah. when, you're, when you're giving your presentations. You give very aggressive language, like, like free, like no money, like no money out of your pocket, like I got money back at closing. Those are really, I like that language. That's, those are really aggressive. All right, so let's talk about that real estate deal I was mentioning. So I already told you about one of the subject to loans that I did um, last week. That one was locked up uh, Saturday night of last week. Then I received a phone call the following Saturday, which was yesterday. And uh, this gentleman, he told me on the phone that he had taken a class 15 years ago that he paid $800 for to learn how to do a subject to loan. And he said to me right on the phone while I was talking to him, hey, you could take over my loan <laughs> subject to. Now, I've been in his That's business hysterical. since 1989. That has never, ever happened to me. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. And uh, when I went down there to talk to him, I mean, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it for me to take over his loan and make the payments that I'm going to have to make on it. Imagine if... Somebody gave you a house. I'd say this house is not – it's not in excellent condition, but it's in very good condition right now. If, 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 if you ask me to estimate the repairs that it needs, I basically say it doesn't need anything, even though it does need a few things. It needs a little bit of spackling, a little bit of painting, you know, nothing, nothing, kind of stuff that if I went there for like a day and a half, I could fix everything, right? The house is in great shape. And this house comes with a mortgage, right? I don't have to borrow 10 cents to buy this house. All I have to do is pay for closing, right? But um, subject to closings are a little bit on the cheaper side of a standard closing. So I got to come up with some closing costs and buy this house. Imagine it's like getting a free house, a house that's worth approximately, let's just say it's worth approximately 300 grand. Imagine if somebody gave you a house. You had to make payments on this house. But the house itself is almost like it's free, right? You're now the owner of it after you sign some paperwork. You make the payments that were already – there's a loan already secured against the house. You just have to make those payments. Tell me if – Larry, does that sound like a free house to you? Oh, it's definitely a free house. I bought, I've gotten quite a few free houses, and it, it's it's – Fantastic. I mean, my very first subject to deal, it cost me a total of $1,724 out of my pocket. When I closed on it, I had $40,000 equity immediately, and I had $400 a month positive cash flow. That property, I still own that property. I've had that property for, I don't know, 10 years or more or something. I don't even know what it was. And I have that property for, for, for all this time. It's now worth, um, it now has equity of about $180,000. And I, get, I have a, a cash flow of over $1,000 a month for $1,724 out of my pocket. It is a, an amazing deal. Amazing. So in less than two months, you got back the cash you put into that property. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was actually, actually at the time, it would be three months or four months, actually, because it was $400 a month at the time. But so what? It was like $1,700. It was, And that was my closing costs. That's what mm -hmm. it was. And I saved the seller. The seller was concerned. 
they couldn't they couldn't sell it. It was actually uh, right right uh, you know if you remember it was right after 2008 where it was a complete mess and everything changed and they couldn't sell it and they needed to get out. And because they need to get out, I was able to take the property over. And it's funny, the, the seller every once in a while contacts me and says how happy they are that I now own the property and they don't own it anymore. They're very happy about that. Well, this is the kind of thing that we do, people. I mean, we do this business for real. We play Monopoly for real. If you want to come to investor schooling and you want to just hear about some of these deals, you'll hear about them every evening that you're here because this is what we do. We talk about real estate. We talk about stock options. So at this point, we're going to go take a little commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes. And when we come back, we're going to talk about our stock option picks of the week. See you in two minutes. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone from Investorschooling.com. I'm inviting you to a complimentary class in Langhorne this Thursday night at 7 p.m. I will teach you how to buy ugly houses and make them beautiful. As a bonus, we will also teach you stock option investing. So get your butt to this meeting, 7 p.m. this Thursday night, Langhorne, 215-876-3002, InvestorSchooling.com. Hey, everybody. It's Larry Sinus from InvestorSchooling.com. You heard my partner, Phil Falcone, tell you why you should be there this Thursday night to learn about real estate investing and learn about stock options trading. We're telling you right now, you will make more money than you've ever made in your entire life if you learn these two skills. Be there this Thursday night at 7 o'clock in our Langhorn headquarters. Go to InvestorSchooling.com. Pull over right now. Take out your phone and go to InvestorSchooling.com. RSVP right now. InvestorSchooling.com. See you Thursday. I'm Phil Falcone from Executech Suites. I got a question for you. What do you get for $4.95 a month at Executech Suites? You get an office big enough for one person. You get the furniture in that office. You get the telephone on the desk. You get the telephone number. You get the fax number. You get the internet. You get two full-time receptionists to answer the phone in the name of your company and patch the calls to you, whether you're in the office, in your car, or at home sleeping on a couch. You get the conference rooms. You get the mailboxes. You get the printer, the copy, the scanner. You get the janitorial service, the utilities, and free coffee. I know it's hard to believe that you could get all those things for $495 a month. But it's true. 67 Buck Road in Huntington Valley, Executech Suites. Give us a call, 215-942-7701, 215-942-7701. All right. I'm digging the music again. It's cool music, Anthony. I like it. Very cool music. Hey, everybody. It's Larry Steinhaus from Investor Schooling, and I'm here with Phil Falcone. And we are at Investor Schooling Live. We are here at our headquarters and we are talking to you about real estate investing, about stock options trading, how to make more money. We're here talking about the SBA loans. We are here. Listen, if you're listening to this show, you got, you just got an hour, almost an hour so far, of nuggets that will make you more money. If you want to call in, you can call in at 855-939-1137. And if you're listening to one of our affiliate stations and we're not live, feel free to call that number anyway, 855-939-1137. And we will answer the phone and we will answer your question we will answer your question, whatever it may be. So 855-939-1137 if you want to call in right now. So what do we need to do? We're going to talk a little bit about some, some stock options? So yeah, why do? don't we do that? Why don't we talk about making some money? So I have to tell you the stock market has gone insane once again. It's absolutely insane. I, I actually saw – I have to just – I just saw again that the S&P has broken a record, which – <laughs> which was which is kind of weird when you think about what happened to us six months ago when the S and P dropped so much that we thought we were in a recession. So the recession, the temporary recession, never really happened, or at least it never really happened as far as the stock market goes. It happened for a second. We were down a thousand points from actually more than a thousand points from where we are right now, and the re and we broke a record th uh, at a uh, three thousand three ninety seven. Or th oh, actually, 3,400 was the record that we, that we hit on Friday, which blows my mind. All right, something's going to happen soon. It's going to be temporary, but something's going to happen soon. We're going to have a nice drop. It has to happen. It just can't keep rocking this way. There is 
there is only one explanation to it rocking this way. And, you know, look, you know, we happen to be Trump fans, but reality is the election is coming, and that's what is making the stock market rock. And every and the people in the stock market, most people in the stock market, most of the money managers want Trump reelected. So I'd, oh, I would almost say that they're actually, and I'm going to say it, they're manipulating the market to make sure that Trump does have hit new records, and he could say that, hey, look, we hit new records, and we want to, we want to continue this great run. And I'm also a little afraid that if he doesn't win, the stock market will take a beating or a hit. But it is it is what it is, so that's why I believe it's happening. But we'll probably get a little temporary bump, right? Be- I'm sorry, a drop right before the election, and start looking into that. However, I got some stock picks for you that I think are goodies, and let's start a little bit with uh, with with those stock picks. So first of all, we actually had one the other day, which is Occidental Petroleum. O X Y is the symbol, and I like this as a stock and a stock option. In fact, as a stock, this is a stock that you might want to buy. You might want to just hold on to it and just forget about it. It's one of the stocks that has not come back, and there are very few stocks have c- that have not come back. And the interesting part is they're all in the same sectors. They're all in the same groups. Those sectors are travel, gas, and banks. They have not come back. So these are opportunities. These are opportunities waiting for you. The thing is, is as a stock, you're holding on to it anyway. It doesn't matter. But as a stock option, you need to know that you need to play it out a long period of time. So we actually, and this is a very unusual thing that we do, we don't usually tell you to play a stock option out that far, but we actually bought calls on this going into January 2022. So we have a good year and almost a year and a half for these things to make, to, to come back. And, and by the way, we paid like $6 for the option. For a $10 option, it's trading at $13, which means that it's got $3 in trends of value, so it really costs us $3 to buy this option. That's all it really costs us was $3, assuming the stock goes up. And in my opinion, I think this is a $20, $25 stock with ease, considering that at one point it was pretty high. It was actually as high as 50 in the last in the fi- last 52 weeks when, you know, before the COVID hit. So for it to go to 25, I, I got to say it's a no-brainer for it to go to 25, and this is a really good play. And if you want to put it in a shelf somewhere, I'm sorry, put it in a drawer somewhere as a stock or put it in a drawer somewhere as a stock option, it's a really good play. Facebook, another one of my favorites. Now, Facebook, I'm waiting for a for something. Now, I, I found this really interesting today. Look, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Facebook. I'm on Facebook a lot. If you guys know who I am, you see me on Facebook. I got posts all the time. But interesting part about Facebook was today I noticed that they had – an application to register to vote. Now, I, I'm, I may realize Facebook is trying to promote voting, and they're probably, uh, as, <laughs> as the liberals they are, they're probably promoting people to be liberal, but that's not even the point. How crazy is Facebook to put this up after the Cambridge Analytica thing two years ago? That's insanity. So hopefully, maybe that'll cause a drop. You know, somebody will, will will write an article on that and go, "This is insane. Why would anybody do this? You know, how dangerous is this to put your Facebook your information through Facebook uh, to register to vote?" You know. Anyway, hopefully that will happen. I'm hoping Facebook drops to under two thirty, maybe even under two twenty five, and I'd pick it up before earnings and 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 I'd play it out to probably two sixty again. So that's what I'm hoping for there. Apple and Tesla are going to be interesting plays because Apple and Tesla are both going to split. They're both going to go for four to one splits, which is going to be nice. Tesla's still too ridiculous. I mean, come on, Tesla's at two thousand for what? It, the the uh, the multiple on that stock is a thousand. If you guys even know what a multiple is, it means that you're paying a thousand times what the company's worth right now to buy it, which is insane. So I wouldn't even touch it. But Apple, however, when it splits, it just, it's, oh, it's just under 500. When it splits, it'll split to 100 and a quarter. And I'd like to see it just drop a little bit, maybe 110. Even 100 would be fantastic. And I would jump on it as a stock option to play it to 120, 125. But either way, I'm going to watch it right into September. I'm going to watch it and see if we can make a couple of bucks on that too. Ford is another one. Ford, if it right now it's trading at 6.6. Or six point seven, and if it drops below six, I'm all over it. I love it, and and you know what? I got to tell you, another one is GE. GE is at close to its fifty-two uh, week low, but I think GE will bounce back up into the nines. So at six point three one, which it closed at the other day, we c- could possibly go up to nine, and that would be a nice play if it if it does that. By the way, it's a thirty percent increase in the stock when you have the stock option is a lot of money. 
So just understand that that could be a really good play if we could get it. I'm looking for it this week to go below six. Even if it just touches below six, 5.98 would make me super happy. I'd jump on it. I'd buy a stock option. I'd buy a five, uh, an in-the-money call with a strike price of a five. And, boy, would I make some money on, on that one. So what do you think of those picks, Phil? I like them. That's uh, some interesting ones. I'm in <clears throat> a few of them. And, uh, you know, one thing I, I just wanted to clarify, because you seem like you uh, juggled your words together. <laughs> so if you bought GE at 6 and it goes to 9, right, that's a huge jump in a stock pick. But in an option pick, it's a lot more money. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you know how to do options. So you got to get your butt to investor schooling at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. Hey, Larry, should I call a paramedic for you? Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's, uh, it's this coffee you gave me. I'm choking on the coffee. Uh, I, I don't want to poison you yet. Maybe, no, no, yeah, you, maybe you, later, maybe later, but not now. <laughs> as soon as the school's worth, uh, you know, as soon as the school's worth $40 million and we sell it, you'll, you'll poison me the next day, right? Well, I still like to keep you around while you're still <coughs> valuable to me. <laughs> Aw, I, I'm so impressed that you call me valuable. That's so nice of you. Well, I said, actually, while well, you're still valuable. Well, so what's more valuable to me? What's more valuable to you about me? Is it the fact that I have really good stock picks? Is it the fact that we have a really good radio show and we, we're a great partnership? A little well, bit of all of it. Uh, uh, you know, th th we're showing some love here. This is an awesome bromance. I know. I'm, I'm about to cry. So I can call you my partner now? I don't have to call you my business partner anymore? Well, that's just a joke, you know. Just I know. A lot of people don't get that joke, but... But uh, <laughs> but if you want to come this Thursday night, we'll explain that joke to you, too. So come to InvestorSchooling.com, and you can RSVP. My voice is definitely breaking up. All right. Well, I'll <clears> be happy to finish out the show. You do that. So if you want to come to the school on Thursday night, it's a free class. That's right. It's free. We're not going to charge you anything. You can come and bring whoever you want. Bring your mother. Bring your girlfriend. Bring your wife. Bring your kids. Anybody you want, bring them. Come on out. Why not come out and learn about real estate and stocks? These are the two vehicles that most people invest their money in. Learn a little bit about it. We promise not to hurt you. We promise not to charge you anything. We're not even going to do a sales presentation. We, this is an actual class we're inviting you to that we do for our students who have paid to be members of Investor Schooling. Just come out, sit in a chair, and learn what can possibly go wrong. I promise you, no one's going to try to sell you anything. We don't operate like that here at Investor Schooling. You know, now that I could speak again, I have to say that, you know, there's a lot of those companies that, by the way, you notice that they're not advertising anymore. And the reason they're not advertising anymore is twofold. One is, of course, COVID. But here's the other reason. The attorney general has shut them down. They've actually been told they're not allowed to do this anymore because they were three day, they were they were two hour sales pitches and then three day sales pitches and then they sold you a program. Look, right. we don't we, we don't do that. We're not doing a sales pitch. We're gonna actually give you a actual class that our students have paid for and you'll be in the middle of a class. You'll be learning something. I, I promise you you will learn something on Thursday that you did not know before. And that is awesome. Yeah, let me let me give you an idea of who we're talking about. Hi, my name is Stan, and I was a star of a TV show seven years ago. Oh, my God. Did <laughs> you just do that? <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'd like you to join our team, right? So just come out. It's for free. Come join our team. And, and then what joining your team means is that we need to get a credit report from you and find out how much money you have. And then our school is going to cost just under whatever you have. That's we don't operate hysterical. like that, people. We don't work like that. You just come to our school. It's free. You get to come here for a couple of classes. And then if you are interested in joining the school, we will give you a presentation after you want one. Okay? We don't even sell you on the school. You have to ask us to do it for you. In fact, if you came here with money on Thursday and said, I will give you everything in my wallet, Assuming it's a lot of money, yeah. I, I we won't even let you join because yeah. we want to make sure that you really want to be here and we, that you really will do the things you need to do to become successful. Because, like I said, we have ninety-five five-star Google reviews, and we don't want you to leave anything less than a five-star Google review. And we won't ask you to join our team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what else do we got to talk about? I don't know, man. We got about two minutes. Yeah, we got plenty of time. 
<clears throat> Let me just get my voice back to the manly voice that I have. Uh, that's a no, 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 no. I, I don't think that's a manly voice. <laughs> what, uh, what, what kind of voice is that? It's a manly voice. I'm a man, and anyone who doesn't believe it, you get your butt to this meeting, and I'll show you. I, I don't know, man. I'm, I, I'm thinking that that voice, that voice is special. All right. So, thanks to our producer Anthony DeRenzo, who's helping us out today. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor for our show, just email us, info at investorschooling.com, info at investorschooling.com. If you have a question about real estate or stocks and you're very shy and you don't want to call the show and you don't want to come to our school, info at investorschooling.com and we'll answer your questions. How do you like that? Would you like to, info an ex would you like to email an expert and have him answer your questions for free? Info at investorschooling.com. All right? Don't forget to go to investorschooling.com and sign up for your complimentary class this Thursday night at 7 o'clock on real estate investing and stock option investing at investorschooling.com. What else do we do here? We have a brokerage. If you're a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor, you can't do some of the things that we will teach you at a regular brokerage. But at Investor Brokerage, which is our brokerage, of course you can do those things. We developed this company to be there for investors, people who want to do creative financing, people who want to use private money, want to use trust, want to do subject to deals, want to do seller financing deals. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to get your butt to this school. Okay, our address is 108 Corporate Drive in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. That's 19047, Thursday night at 7 o'clock at investorschooling.com. And don't forget, if you're, if you're listening to this show and you want to call, you can call anytime, 855-939-1137, and we will answer your question live, 855-939-1137. You could even call that number when we're not on the air. Of course. That's, I think that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, you just didn't say it. I didn't say it, but you say it so much better than I do. Okay, here's the point, people. Call that number anytime you want. 855-939-1137. We are out of here.